Stevie Wonder. He's everything. Stevie's everything. Oh, a perfect songwriting. Oh gosh, composer, vocals. Stevie Wonder. Stevie, the GOAT. I mean, okay, in, in my book, there's no one, when we look, when we look at like the, the, the geniuses in what we call jazz music, right? He's composer. When I look at Monk, when I look at Mingus, you know, I look at Stevie. He's everything. Everything he writes is everything. He, he tells everybody's life story. Everybody's. Musical genius, you know, I mean, the, the play, you know, and I, I always say this is that the, I was talking about the composition, the writing and stuff earlier, but then the, the actual musician of Stevie Wonder, it's like me as a pianist has gotten a lot from listening to Stevie Wonder, the pianist. Slick. <laughs> like, um, you know, like for as much as you try to, you know, learn his songs, you go back to them and you always find a voicing that you didn't notice before. I mean, I just, like someone who communicated to more people through music than almost anyone else I can think of, you know, like I don't, you know, I don't know, I don't know anyone who doesn't know, you know, at least some of the words to all those Stevie tunes. I mean, just, and you know, amazing musician, but just the way he was able to like, you know, write these songs that spoke to so many people is an amazing thing. Um, because Stevie, Stevie was, you know, the monk and mingus of, of that day. I mean, if, if you think about what he was talking about and how tuned he and he was to society and what his music stood for, I mean, that's all I can say. I just did a post on Facebook, I think it was yesterday, and I said, Stevie Wonder is like ranch dressing. Whatever you put him on, it, it gets better. You know? Indeed. You know, I'm sure it's drummers who have checked out Stevie Wonder as a drummer, you know, bass players who hopefully have checked out Stevie Wonder playing key bass. It's like, you know, so yeah, just Stevie Wonder, I feel like he is as high as musician as Duke Ellington, Herbie Hancock, Wayne Shorter. I mean, that's all the same stuff. All right, uh, Stevie Wonder. Oh, I saw Stevie Wonder at Bonnaroo and it blew my mind. He blew my mind. Um, I believe when I fall in love this time, it'll be forever. Um, was able to get over all that. And it's like the thing with Steve is you don't even think, you don't even remember that he's blind sometimes. You, think, you don't even think about that because he's just so great. And I think he just saw that hurdle. He was like, whatever, I, I have something I'm here to do and I'm gonna do it despite everything. Playing in multiple jam bands, whether it's in Italy or in the US, you end up playing Superstition because everybody wanna hear Superstition. And so I remember I, one day he was like, you know what, I mean, I, I heard the song multiple times, but I mean, let me actually like see what he's actually doing. And then you, you actually listen and you see that, you know, everybody just play But that's not it, there are like five different clavichord tracks. So, yes, it's so slick, like something that you think like, oh, my, oh, that's simple, oh, I got it. And you go back to it like, nope, it's not that simple. For some reason, that uh, the song I just called to say I love you is like one of the first ones songs I've learned on a saxophone period. That and by ear, that one and on uh, my Sharia Moore. Oh, okay. Now my favorite Stevie one the tune was uh, "Come Back as a Flower." Uh, Stevie Wonder, the best and <laughs> <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> um. Uh, Inner Visions. I've got the the vinyl record uh, that is a, a record that I actually love the the album art so much that I just keep it as a piece of visual art so I can see it and kind of always be motivated by by Stevie. So, just the simple fact of him being able to write and compose and play on all, and I think he plays a ton of instruments too, like drums, synths, keyboards, obviously harmonica. He can sing. He just. He's great, greatness, greatness in, in one man. And, you know, from a, 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 was a Secret Life of Plant. Yeah. And I was wanting to do that song, you know, on my last album. And I remember thinking, you know, I was talking to Keith about it, and I was like, yeah, you know, somebody needs to record that tune. One of us needs to record it, you know. Uh, and then I find out Keith done beat me to the punch, man. <laughs>
I wanted to record that tune, but I, I wrote an arrangement, but his arrangement's much better than mine, so we'll go with Keith. <laughs> I, would also, I would also say, like, uh, you know, I've seen like these little soul train segments where he improvises with the whole crowd, he just creates a, a new thing out of nothing. So I would say, amazing improviser, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, I love that this guy just like became his own thing without seeing the world at all, but completely hearing it. And that he just found a, a place in which he could paint all over the world and just blow everybody's minds. His ability to, the, the, the soul is, is, is so natural. The soul is just born in and like, he's just like, he's such a hot flame and everything that he's ever done is just like, you just stand back and, what a mind-blowing artist, and he's still doing it.